Like and subscribe. Support for our videos. In a secluded corner of the world, where sunlight danced in golden threads through the trees, there lay a hidden garden unlike any other. This was the Garden of Leora, a place where flowers bloomed in every imaginable color, their petals glistening with dew that never seemed to dry. But the true magic of Leora was not just in the flowers, it was in the fairies who lived among them. The flower fairies of Leora were as delicate as the petals they tended. Each fairy was born from the heart of a blossom, their wings shimmering in hues that mirrored the flower from which they emerged. There was Rosalind, the rose fairy, with wings the color of the deepest red, and Iris, the violet fairy, whose wings glowed with shades of purple and blue. The fairies spent their days flitting from bloom to bloom, ensuring that every flower was perfectly poised to catch the morning sun and the evening breeze, but the harmony of Leora was threatened when the flowers began to wilt, their vibrant colors fading to gray. The fairies were distraught, for they had never seen such a blight in their garden. They gathered under the great willow tree, their wings fluttering with worry, it is the shadow frost, said Elder Marigold, the oldest of the fairies. A cold wind from the north has seeped into our garden, poisoning the roots of our flowers, determined to save their home, Rosalind, Iris. And a small band of brave fairies set out on a journey to the source of the frost. They traveled through dark forests and over misty mountains, their wings growing heavy with frost. At last, they reached the edge of the world, where they found the shadow frost itself, a towering glacier, cold and unfeeling. Rosalind approached the glacier, her wings glowing faintly in the icy air. We must melt the frost, she said, but not with fire. Only the warmth of love and light can do so. The fairies joined hands, forming a circle around the glacier, and began to sing. Their voices, soft as the rustling of leaves, filled the air with a melody so pure that the ice began to crack. The warmth of their love seeped into the glacier, melting it away until nothing remained but a pool of crystal clear water. With the shadow frost gone, the fairies returned to Leora, where the flowers bloomed once more, more vibrant than ever. The garden was saved, and the fairies danced in celebration, their wings shimmering in the sunlight, a testament to the power of love and unity.